I'm here with Elena Dementieva, and the color right now for me, and obviously for her, is gold. <laughs> what was it like, and the feelings you had winning a gold medal in Beijing? Well, it was unbelievable. Very special moments for me that I will never forget. You know, I was dreaming about this, you know, all my life, and uh, and in, since I was playing my first Olympic final in Sydney eight years ago, I mean, I couldn't dream about anything else that you know to get to another final and be able to win a gold medal. But I mean, when it just came to you, it's still a huge surprise and you know, unbelievable moment. Where is the gold medal right now? <laughs> well, actually, it's in Moscow at home. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. What was the response back in your motherland when you won that gold? Well, you know, I had a very nice reception when I came back home to Moscow and um, people just came to the airport, you know, and I uh, had a lot of flowers. It was a very nice moment, so I really could feel the support, you know, from Russia and, you know, especially from my family and my friends. So I was happy, you know, to share, you know, all this emotion from Beijing with them. Now, coming into the 2008 U.S. Open, you're pretty much the best player in the world having won the Olympic gold. Is it different coming in as a champion as opposed to maybe losing second round last week? Well, it's a, you know, it's a very special feeling, but you know, it's very difficult because it's another challenge for me and it's very tough to refocus, you know, and just uh, not to think about the Olympic games just to get ready for the new challenge for the new matches, but um, I'll try my best. Okay, so after the Olympics, you get the gold medal, they play the song, you fly <laughs> back to Moscow, and then you fly here to right. New York. You must be exhausted. <laughs> well, it's really worth it, you know. Um, I have no regrets about, you know, coming back to Moscow because I really want to share this moment with my family. Uh, but it was a lot of traveling this year, you know, a lot of traveling. But, um, you know, hopefully I'm going to be ready for the next round. Yeah. How many days did you have to prepare here in New York? Well, I just came here on Wednesday, so I had a couple of days before my first round. And, um, yeah, with a time difference, it's never easy, but um, I try my best. <laughs> okay, in your opinion, what makes the U.S. Open the biggest tournament in the world? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> For me, you know, um, the beginning of my career, I played my first semifinals, mm -hmm. and uh, this is where I started to play, you know, in a very top level. So for me, it's a very special place, and uh, I like to play in New York. I think it's a great location, great support from the people, you know, and um, just the, one of the biggest, the, probably the biggest event in a, in a tour. So everyone dreaming about winning here and uh, so do I. <laughs> now in two weeks, if you're carrying that U.S. Open trophy, what will be more important, oh my the gosh. gold medal <laughs> or the U.S. Open trophy? <laughs> Another tough question? I cannot compare, you know, Olympic yeah. Games and the Grand Slam because it's a, it's a completely different feeling, you know, when yeah. you're playing for your country and when you're playing for yourself. But uh, that would be nice. It would be nice. <laughs> How would you celebrate a U.S. Open win. Well, it's a long way to go. I mean, a long if you, way. well, you know, if you start to think about how you're going to celebrate it, you're going to lose next job. You're not going to focus. Now, how do you look at the two weeks? How do you prepare match to match? Well, I think it's important just to take one match at a time because um, coming back from Beijing it was very physical, you know, mentally tough to play there. So. I uh, just want to make sure that I have enough rest, you know, and get ready for the next round and just, um, you know, enjoy to play. What do you like to, to do away from the courts and the big stadium and the practice courts while you're here in New York? Do, do they have time to have some fun? Well, I just, I just love to walk in Manhattan yeah. and I love this city because I was born in Moscow, so I really love you know, big cities and I enjoy the atmosphere. It's a very energetic place and uh, just keep walking, keep looking around and you know, you're never bored because there is always something very interesting, something new, you know, that you can open here in New York for yourself. All right, well, I really hope you have a great US Open and bring home uh, another trophy. Oh, thank you. Good luck. Thank you.